What is up, guys? We're back on the alt account to test out another monster to see how much money it makes. If you're unfamiliar with this series, we go around all of RuneScape testing out all monsters to see how much money they make on an alt account for three hours. This account was first made to be a Brutal Black Dragon alt, which I did achieve in five episodes. I have now switched to turning it into a Rune Dragon alt, which I am still currently making a series on, and we have tested out many different Slayer monsters to see how much money they make, and we are now currently testing out any and all monsters in game to to see how much money they make. We've made quite a few videos and tested many monsters already, so if any of those series sound interesting to you, definitely check them out in the description. The way I decide which monster to do is based entirely off of what you guys vote for in my community tab. Last week, you guys voted for Tazar Kets, so that is what we will be testing out. There is a new poll posted now on my community tab, and it is also in the description, so if you are interested and you want to help choose the next one, make sure to check out the poll. I would also be more than happy to choose any monsters you guys comment below to put in the next poll, so please leave a comment so I can do that. If you have been enjoying this series, go ahead and leave a like as it does help out the channel a ton. And if you are not subscribed already and want to see more of these, consider subscribing right now. Before we start, I will go over my account stats. This account has 83 attack, 83 strength, 83 defense, 86 range, 70 prayer, 73 magic, and 86 hit points. The gear I'm using is full Darok so I can get the max amount of DPS on the higher level Tazar Kets, and supposedly they are weak to crush, so that will definitely help. And I also have a fire cape, fury, Purse symbol, Barrow's Gloves, Dragon Boots, and a Berserker Ring. You could upgrade some of these items, but it doesn't really matter too much. In the inventory, I have two Super Combat Potions, a Draymond Staff to use the Fairy Ring to get there, a Dwarven Rock Cake to get my HP down to 1 so I can get higher hits with full Darok, and the rest is Prayer Potions as we will be praying Protect from Melee the whole time. You could instead use Prayer Armor and something like a Whip, but I believe this setup is more efficient. Let's quickly go over the Dazarket drops. They do drop Uncut Gems, Onyx Bolt Tips, Tuckle, and in Soul Tazar Heads. The big ticket drops that will be making us the most money per hour that we are definitely looking for are the Obby Maul, the Obby Shield, the Obby Cape, and since we are killing the higher level Tazar Kets, the Obsidian Armor Pieces. If we do not get any of these items, we will not make any profit in these three hours, so hopefully we will get some good RNG and get one. Now I'll show you guys how to get there. All right, now we're ready to go. I am at the Edgeville Fairy Ring with my Draymond Staff. And we are going to go to BLP, that is where Mor Ulrek is, in the Tazar area. Go ahead and enter through the barrier. Remember, you do need your fire cape in order to get there. You're going to go ahead and run east around this inner circle until you can get through the doorway. Go through the doorway, and then you can make it to all the other Tazar cats, the higher level ones at least, which are the ones that we're going to be killing. You want to ignore most of the other monsters. You could kill the uh, black ones. They do drop these swords and some other items as well. But I'm just going to stick to these higher level ones. Let's go ahead and start the timer. And then guzzle down to 1 HP. Drink your super combat potions. Pray protect from melee. And that's really all you do. You could attack multiple of them at once. And they will all attack you, but their range is pretty short and random, so it's kind of hard to get a lot of them on you at once in this area. So I like to do just one at a time. So now I'll go ahead and kill the higher level Tazars, and then I'll come back if we get any awesome drops, or after the first hour. Ooh, just got our first profitable drop. Three Onyx Bolt Tips, thank you very much. Hopefully we get enough of those. Let's see if we can get a hundred of those at least by the end of this. Alright, we're just over the first hour starting now. Yep, just over the first hour. So far, the loot we have made is 35k. So obviously, we're not making a lot of money, but the Tazar Kets are definitely something that if you want to make any money at all, you definitely have to camp for a while. You're not going to make money likely in the first hour. It's possible. If you watched my bursting spots that are profitable, I showed the Tazar Kets and some other Tazar monsters. And you saw that within about 10 minutes, I did get a 200k plus drop. So it's definitely possible to make a lot of money in the first hour, but it's unlikely. And this is definitely something that you want to camp for a while if you're going to make money. So let's go ahead and continue this. So far, we're making bank. So hopefully we continue to make some profits. Hopefully we get a cool drop, maybe an armor piece or even a weapon piece. Just got another Onyx Bolt tip drop. This time four Onyx Bolt tips. That brings us to seven. Only 93 till 100. Perfect timing. We just got an obsidian cape worth over 400k. One of the better drops, if not the best drop you can actually get from the Tazar Kets. And look at this. We just got to the two hour mark. So with that, we have now made 482k 
GP. So, so far we're making 240K GP an hour. Keep in mind, we are using supplies. We have not banked yet. We will probably have to bank to get some more prayer potions. I didn't think it was worth wasting time banking to get more super combats. So if you were to do this in the future, I would probably recommend bringing more super combats, maybe four of them to start out with the prayer potions. But anyways, keep in mind we have used supplies, so that's going to take away a little bit of the profit. But so far we've made 240k each hour during the two hours. Let's go ahead and put on that cape. Maybe it'll give us some good luck. Just got some more Onyx Bolt tips added to the collection. We're at 10 now. We'll get to 100 in no time. All right, there is our last kill of the three hours just in time barely made it with that last kill i did actually have to bank for those of you that don't know the bank in molu wreck is up here to the northeast so i had to run over there get some prayer pots i got 20 more and then two super combat potions and banked everything else anyways let's go ahead and see how much money we made in three hours of dare rocking the Tizar Kets. I'll meet you guys in the Grand Exchange with all the items, and then we'll find out. Now time for the moment we have all been waiting for. How much money do you make on an alt account from three hours of Tizar Kets? We made 513k GP in the three hours, meaning we made 171k GP an hour, which is a little disappointing. I really did think we would get another obby armor or even weapon piece, which would have definitely brought our profit up. Keep in mind, we did spend money on supplies, and the total cost of supplies was close to 300k GP, meaning our actual profit was 213k, which means we made around 70k per hour, which is obviously horrible. I would strongly suggest you do not use the Tzarkets for money and stick to something else for money. I remember back in the day when I was first playing RuneScape, I would range and safe spot the Tzarkets as a way of training range and making money, and I imagine you could do that now, but again, it is not worth the time for the little profit you make. You can, however, use the tuckle that you got from the Tzarkets to make money from the gem shop in Molu Rec. You could probably make around 500k at least from the amount of tuckle we got, but it does take time to run back and forth and hop worlds, so I won't include that in our profit. Overall, I enjoyed making this video, and I like testing out these random monsters to let everyone know what the current profit per hour is. If you have any suggestions for other monsters, no matter how weird or random, please leave a comment so I can test them out in the near future. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and if you want to see more of my content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. May as well do it. Come on, you know you want to. Anyways guys, I appreciate all the support. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for my next video.